Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. So, in today's journey, we are going to be starting at Bullstrode in the parish of Westmoreland. We're heading towards Hanover. Now, Mr. Wilson, the patching of the road bus, the mall in a road business there, you need to revisit it. Because as soon as the rain starts to fall, it will go wash out. So the little mall business, the bus, revisit it. Anyway, sit back, relax and enjoy this bumpy ride with me. Now, in today's video, we have a number of new stories for you. And we didn't carry any birthday greetings yesterday or the day before. So we are coming up with that later. We are going to be doing Tuesday, Wednesday and today's birthday greetings. Stand by for them. Now, we are learning that the Glory Healing and Deliverance Ministry, that's a church at Big Bridge in the parish of Westmoreland, it was broken into and a number of items stolen. This took place between Tuesday night, May 24th, and Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. Our information is that hoodlums, they gained entry into the church by breaking out a window to the side of the church. It is understood that six monitor boxes, an HP printer, one Lenovo laptop, and two 40-inch television sets, they were all stolen from the church. We are told that the value of the items stolen is almost half a million Jamaican dollars. Not even the church is safe. Now, this incident, it took place yesterday afternoon, Wednesday, May 25th, 2022, about 1 o'clock. It took place along the hip strip. Now, the hip strip, it is formerly known as Gloucester Avenue, and it is now known as Jimmy Cliff Boulevard in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Our information is that a 64-year-old female tourist, she is from New Jersey in the United States of America, but she is staying locally at a popular hotel in Montego Bay. This female tourist, she was walking along Jimmy Cliff Boulevard. She was heading towards Montego Bay when a young hoodlum, armed with a knife, held up this lady. It is said that he used the knife he had and cut the strap of the bag that the lady was carrying. He then grabbed the bag from the lady and she fell. We are told that her knee was bruised up. This hoodlum, he ran off with the bag, but a man who was passing by and saw what was happening, he managed to chase and held this little piece of nastiness and the police were called. The bag with all its contents was taken from this hoodlum and he was taken into police custody. This hoodlum, he has since been arrested and charged by the police for the offense of robbery with aggravation. His name is Keith Ramsey. He is 17 years old and he is said to be a student. He lives at Mafuta district in the parish of St. James. So, this young hoodlum, he will be going to the courts shortly to face his judgment. Passerby, enough respect. Job well done. Now, we are learning that a 45-year-old businesswoman, she is lucky to be alive. This was because of an incident that took place at her business place at Grange Pen in Lilliput in the parish of St. James. We are learning that yesterday morning, Wednesday, May 25th, 2022, about 10 o'clock. The lady, she was in her shop. She had just reached and was cleaning up the shop to start the day's business when a car drove up and stopped outside. We are told that a hoodlum came out of the car and entered the shop. He then ordered a drink and cigarette from the lady. The lady, she went to get the items but by the time she turned around, she realized that this hoodlum he had a gun in his hand. The hoodlum, he fired three shots at this lady. The lady, she managed to duck and hide behind the counter. Luckily, she was not hit. The hoodlum, thinking that at least one of the bullets connect, he ran outside and jumped into the waiting car and made good his escape. A glass panel in the shop was damaged by bullets. Now, the police were called and when they processed this crime scene, we are told that three 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. Lady, I hope you know that they will be back. 
and I am hoping that you tell the police what is happening because there was no attempt to rob you. The instructions given to this hoodlum was take her out. Dirt. So, let's hope that you are cooperating with the police. Now, we are learning that two men were shot at Roaring River in the Withan Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. They were shot early this morning, Thursday, May 26th, 2022, sometime after 12 midnight. We are told that residents of the area, they reportedly heard loud explosions sounding like gunshots. As a result, the police were called. When the police went on the scene, they found a man. He goes by the name Odin. He had gunshot wounds to his abdomen. He was rushed to a nearby hospital where he was admitted in a serious condition. We are told that the police, they then got further reports that more shots were being fired in the area. As a result, the police returned. This time, they found a man. His name is O'Neill Radney. He's popularly known as Price and he's said to be about 22 years old. Price, he was found with a single gunshot wound to his head. From all indication, he died on the spot. Now, we are still gathering some information and we'll be updating this story in a subsequent video. So stand by for that update. Now, yesterday, we told you about a shooting incident that captured wanted man. Nikilo Lewis, popularly known as Kilo, was wanted for. He was wanted for murder, wounding with intent and shooting with intent. But that wasn't the only case that he was wanted for. He was wanted for this murder as well. Now, on Saturday, September 25th, 2021, about 11 p.m., that man that you're seeing on your screen, his name is Lindell Wilson. He was popularly known as Junior and he was 42 years old. Junior, he was said to be a technician and he lived at Ocean Heights in Lilliput in the parish of St. James. So, Junior, he was the owner for a white 2011 Toyota Voxy. We are learning that he parked the Voxy at Ocean Heights and he was talking to some friends when they were pounced on by a group of hoodlums. It is said that the hoodlums, all armed with guns, they proceeded to rob the group of persons. It is said that Junior, he resisted and the hoodlums, they forced him into his Toyota Voxy and drove away the Voxy with Junior in it. That was the last time Junior was seen alive. Now, the next morning, Sunday, September 26, 2021, about 8 o'clock, Junior's body was found on a dirt road in a community named Paisley in the Adelphi police area. Junior, he had gunshot wounds to his head and his back. Now, when these hoodlums kidnapped Junior, he was wearing a crisp pair of clocks. But when he was found, he was found barefooted. What kind of hoodlums you call these types of hoodlums? Now, can you imagine how Junior was bawling and begging these hoodlums not to kill him and they still killed him but when the police held on to kill you the man who is suspected of killing junior in ball and in beg like a baby <laughs> officer officer me a beg you sir no kill me sir please officer me a beg you no kill me officer me have me use them a live for officer please me a beg you sir why may I tell you? <laughs> so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the like button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, remember, hit on the subscribe button, then you hit on the notification bell, then click all, so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. So, you would have heard about the killing in Montego Bay. It's all over social media. It took place yesterday afternoon, Wednesday, May 25th, 2022, some minutes to 5 o'clock. It took place at Mall Road at Rose Heights in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. So, here is what we are learning. A birthday party was being held 
for a well-known figure. He goes by the name J-Man. Our information is that a lot of persons were gathered along the roadway when a silver Toyota Axio motor car drove up. It is said that masked woodlums alighted from the car. They were all armed with M16 rifles. It is said that they opened a barrage of gunshots on the group of persons. They then jumped back into the car, making good their escape from the area. When the smoke was cleared, five persons received gunshot wounds. Now, a youngster, he's popularly known as Papi P. He is just 15 years old and he is said to be a student. He received gunshot wounds to his right hand and his right shoulder. A man, he is known as Romain. He is said to be in his mid-twenties. He received gunshot wounds to his right ankle. Tony Ann Reed, popularly known as Two Fly. She's about 25 years old. She received gunshot wounds to her back. A man, his name is Chamario Calvin. He was popularly known as Chippy Dan and he's about 24 years old. He received gunshot wounds to his head. And the fifth person, his name is Chadwell Fraser. He was popularly known as Shad and Bombrian. Bombrian, he's about 27 years old. He received gunshot wounds to his upper body. Now, other persons who were at the party, they rushed all five persons to the Cornwall Regional Hospital, where Bambrian, he was pronounced dead on arrival. Two Fly and Chippy Dan, they died later whilst being treated. We are also told that two black Toyota Foxy that were parked nearby, they were riddled with bullets. The police were called and when they processed this crime scene, our information is that 55 5.56 spent shells were recovered from the scene. 5.56 is what is used in an M16 rifle. 55 spent shells were recovered from this scene. So these woodlums, they would have fired at least 55 bullets. Remember, you know, the police... It is impossible for them to find all of these pen shells. So, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. I don't feel like this is the end of it. I don't feel like there is a lot more to come. Don't you believe that persons who were shot at are persons who were shot? They know exactly where this attack is coming from. I am not going to be joining and saying I know where it is coming from because I don't know. But me can tell you, say, based on what happened, this nah done for now. That's why I keep on saying, the mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver, sing.